welcome to this Windows and computer channel. And this, this is day three of my usage for the April 2019 update. And of course, I get daily questions of people thinking, you know, what should I do? Um, so I'll answer some of the questions. Uh, we are today, Thursday, March the 28th, 2019. And I'll answer some of the questions that I've been having in the past couple of days. First one, um, people that are gaming have been asking me, okay, can I upgrade safely now to 18.362 and have uh, a good gaming experience? Well, no, and, and you should wait because one of the biggest problems right now for gamers is the anti-cheat software that actually isn't working well. It, green, it actually blue screens the uh, build. So that means that if you have any games that have anti-cheat it's still a, there's still a bug with the uh, april 2019 update in there so it's not time to upgrade some of you said oh well you know is this real deal oh are you sure you yeah, know we know this is the uh, rtm version it's just that uh, right now they're kind of uh, in a uh, mode where uh, this is a little complicated with the upgrade for some that are on older builds but we know that this is the official deal for the um you know, April 2019 update. Um, somebody, of course, one of the questions I get all the time is, okay, should I go and install it now? You know what? I will repeat what I always say. First of all, if you ask somebody, should I install it now? Uh, my honest answer to this is always, no. If you have to ask someone, should I install it now? You should not install it. It's like an insider build. When people ask me, oh, should I become an insider? Um, well, that's a question you should know the answer. If you don't know the answer need to ask somebody else, then you should not be an insider. It, it goes like that. It's simple. Um, wait for it to appear. It will appear someday on your PC. Okay, that's it. Another question I get a lot, and we talked about it yesterday, um, as I was mentioning that only 26.4% of people have the October 2018 update. Do I need the October 2018 update to upgrade to the April 2019 update? No, you do not. These are autonomous, full versions of Windows when it installs. They don't need a previous version to install. They can install, you could install the original 2015 version of Windows 10 and click Windows Update for the April 2019 update when it arrives. That's what's going to show up. And you'll update directly to the April 2019 update from that old version. It's as simple as that. There's no there's no need for the other versions. Um, and you know, a lot of you say that you're you're happy with 1803, so you know you'll jump to 1903 when it is available at some point on your PC. Another question that I've been receiving a lot is does this include the new red pulling fix for the Spectre and Meltdown that makes your PC faster? Yes it does. The April 2019 update actually includes this, this new code from Google that actually speeds up your PC so your PC should be faster running the April 2019 update simply because it removed the old way of mitigating Spectre and Meltdown flaws which means your PC is faster. Now um, that code has always already been included for many of you in a cumulative update on the October 2018 update. If you are one of the 26% of the or the you know one quarter of Windows 10 users on 18.09, a cumulative update that was pushed for 18.09 actually added that capability. That means you might already have noticed that on the October 2018 update, your PC is faster. So it's going to stay pretty much the same when you go to the April 2019 update. But for those of you that are on 18.03, the April 2018 update, What's nice is that you should see a speed up of your PC if you just jump over 1809. So these are some of the questions and answers that I have. And of course, uh, the last one is, when will it be available? Well, if there's no glitch, and that's the important thing about it, when there's no glitch, um, it's okay. You should have it at some point starting somewhere in April. Uh, the update will start rolling out in April, slowly at first, and then actually go faster and faster as time goes by. So some of you will see it the first day, 
Some of you will see it in a few weeks after the first release, official release. Some of it, some of you will see it only months from now. <clears throat> it all depends on your hardware, software. You know, they have a lot of telemetry to let them know if yes or no you're compatible with it. So that's what's going to happen and they'll be looking at that and they'll push it to you. And that's why you should wait because when it is automatically pushed to your machine, it's simply because they know it's okay. It should update okay. That's why I always say, wait for it. You don't really need to have a new version of Windows 10 all the time. And uh, hopefully it's going to roll out well. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.